wanting to dream. Oops, I think your saved game is corrupted. What? Just kidding. Just kidding. Very funny, funny jokes there. I think the guy's name is Clarence Brown. Police, the yeah. police officer. Let me just check. Oh, I'm curious. Does the uh, Troy to become human wiki should have the answer? Um, Clancy Brown, Clarence John Brown the third, yeah. It's in Highlander, Torshank Redemption, and of course my favorite character that he's portrayed. Sergeant Charles Zim in the Starship Troopers. Anyway, I digress. Thank you for using Detroit buses. <sighs> All right, end the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. We have any income? Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Ooh. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? uncomfortable but discreet for the first night. Alice, you're freezing cold. 
I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Are you sure? You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Huh. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Could work. He looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Hmm. Okay. We'll find somewhere better. best we're gonna find but look the store is still open maybe we should go inside at least you'll be out of the cold some money so we can get a room for tonight shit a homeless android ah that's the best yet look this is a convenience store not the salvation army okay you better go if you're not gonna buy anything play through at least. It would be interesting to do the evil style play through. Hmm. 
warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. be doing some light reading right now. Pollinating bees officially extinct. Sound bad. For decades scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered Species announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Biologists confirmed that CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites, and pollution. The consequences of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supply, and, most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. Cyberlife in cooperation with Gaze have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches, such as Detroit Urban Farms currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity. There's no guarantee that they will thrive. For the younger generation, watching concerts in VR has become the norm, and who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's a cheap, safe, and no-hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. Live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Koske Music have launched a cam campaign to bring back old-school concerts with live audiences in front of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, NKM spokesperson, explains the culture of going to live concerts is a thing of the past, but we want to bring that back. Real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Break the Wall will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead singer Baz Rudd. The hype, the applause, the screams, you don't get that sitting on your sofa. This proves a success. NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals. Which should be music to fans' ears. Hmm. I'm gonna steal this guy's. Oops. our best option. Oh. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else.
There's nothing more this way. Okay. Gallus, okay, you're not gonna be happy, but we're gonna sleep in the car. Best we can do. Sorry. That's what we can do. he ever love me? Hmm. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. You'll never go. Hmm. Alice, we don't know what's going to happen. Will we be together forever? Forever. Harsh truths versus comforting lies, see? Obviously, a lot of things we could do here. Okay.
Hey, we found another another leg. a summary. We are going to try and GTFO. Do better. Yes, I Hello. I'm an AK seven hundred Android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife Maintenance Center. Crazy, we're cannibalizing the other sewer parts. Oh, 
think we kill this guy or it's already dead. Placing some parts. And now we can climb. like a rhythm game actually classic quick time event stuff not sure it's necessary when it's as easy as this I think it makes more sense when it's uh, more difficult. I'm just gonna try one thing as well. If I swap, does that mean the correct ones show up in the prompt? I sincerely hope so. Completely unnecessary, so this is fun. Yeah. This game is clearly made for controllers, though. being made for consoles. Blur effect. Consoles need to keep up with the graphics engine. Make it possible for them to run at 60 FPS. Let us unlock the FPS, let us remove the blur when you make a PC port, please.
presumably that's when we yeah. It's the first scene in the game that it's referencing. Amanda was the girl we saved, wasn't her name Amanda? Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Hmm. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. Hmm. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable. ...and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Indeed. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. She didn't more like that. and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. Hmm. You can count on me, Amanda. Wouldn't that also make him the most Hurry, Connor. likely to become... own individual can I help you I'm here to see lieutenant Anderson do you have authorization Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Okay. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last year. Day. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to something. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Dennis Riggs it's that desk right there. Nice. Nice. Go unanswered. The countries in the region are really the forensics. Have called for military forces right. to win and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. You still here? I thought your assignment was over. It's just been extended. <laughs> Hank's gonna be overjoyed to hear that. Mm. You were right about that android. It's been quiet in the cell all night. It's scheduled for transfer today. No name. 
Found your desk, bro. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Hmm. Thanks. Guess we'll just wait around like an eat. Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Hmm. Beep. Whatever. Let's see what we got. Don't. of his unhealthy everything. Dead bonsai tree. Please dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With the number of high profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics ceased. Uh, with a street value of five half a million dollars. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA describes the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit police force, Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force, Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police officers I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as future commissioner. Then what happened, eh? Nearly a ton of red eyes discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. What happened to Anderson? It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. 
Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. Mm. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Death work, Hank. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. Hmm. It's hoping to get some information out of that. I guess not. Reports of famous artist Carl Manfred's death have been confirmed. The coroner described a fatal cardiac event induced by a stressful domestic situation. Manfred's son Leo has asked the media to respect his family's privacy at this difficult time. Carl Manfred rose to fame in the 2020s as a figurehead of neo-symbolism, powerful and dark works in the model, in the mold of Francis Bacon. Proliferate years followed until a dark period marked by alcohol and drugs, but the artist had apparently returned to work in recent months. The governor of Detroit expressed her condolences to the family on behalf of the city, describing Manfred as one of Detroit's brightest lights. A collection of Manfred's paintings will be auctioned by his estate in the coming weeks, of course. Russian president responds to Warren's warning. Following President Warren's demand that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic immediately, President Ivanov of Russia has issued a response. Ivanov grounded Warren's comments as megaphone diplomacy and said U.S. saber rattling is the number one threat to stability in the region. That sound like the Russians. Kremlin produced a detailed statement outlining Russia's claim to the territory and Ivanov said he would remind President Warren that the United States is subject to UN conventions like everybody else. The conflict shows no sign of abating. Hmm. We should go see the Deviant before we check on Hank. The 
They're going to destroy me. Hmm. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. What you wrote on the wall, RA-9, what does it mean? I'm going to die. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! I'll call Cyberlife. And this mess up. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Fair enough. So we'll use this one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. You take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Maybe they're trying Denton to Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Hmm. 
If you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Oh. All right. Plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work. He returned the Android with no to be found. No trace of a break in the apartment. The Android may have left the home without being ordered to. Plaintiff claims to have been attacked by a AB500 working as a waiter in the fast. Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. Main set large. Tim Gordon Lopez, Charles Bell, Sarah Cornwall. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an 8700 model. Also crashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Floyd Mills, the plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. Model WR400, the android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Reported murder, Leo Manfred. Famous painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. The latter's witness statement attests to the android behaving violently. The android is thought to be a prototype on a model and serial number and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Homicide Todd Williams, suspect. Victim's body was found by a friend who came to say hello. Immediately called the emergency service at 842, who reported death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim. His android, an AX400, was not found on the scene. It's the main suspect. Hmm. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Hmm. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Ask for this investigation, Lieutenant. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Hmm. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. Lab report says they. I didn't come something. here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster really and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Oh, things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Hmm. Well, this could have gone way better with Hank, I think. one thing we never found at the beginning hmm. well I think this is another good time for a break